So this is now the final thing that we need to do to complete our connection to our remote computer v by using SSH and FreeNX and configuring port forwarding on your router. Back to our diagram, if you can remember that this computer belonged here at first, right? And then we just port forwarded it to face the whole world, right? But the pr problem is that the IP address keeps on changing and the if you have a router that is capable of directly contacting Dindines so that it ch says that hey you know what my IP address just changed so the next time you're going to connect to the computers that I fo port forwarded can you please use this number so it can it looks like this if this is your router okay router there is a program there called DDNS okay you might be I uh, might seen this in your router and that this DDNS you just put here your username username and password first you put username in DDNS right and your password the account that you created then and then your host name okay after that it will automatically connect to DNS and do all those updating for you okay so hey DNS it will first it will connect you know that IP address that keeps on changing can you please change it now by using these credentials so it will go to the DNS and DNS in DNS will update your IP address that you got from the internet from your ISP okay and when people or your computers connect via the host name that you added in DNS for example in our case we added something like anything dot din DNS dot org something like that right if that's successful people can connect now to the computers that you port forwarded so again from your computer it will connect to dindns.org to the, to the host name that you added to dindns and dindns will get your I current IP address and by getting your current IP address it will go to the modem and it will go to the computer that you've port forwarded while when your maybe wh when this IPs change again the program in your DNS will just use the host username password and host name that you put there to contact DNS again and the cycle begins again okay so now when you connect to the host name that you registered with DNS we we'll go again to the, the correct IP to the computer and the router will update again and so on and so on I hope you get the point so let's go to the router and see those things welcome to my router now this is what I'm talking to you about D I'm using a DDWRT router well DDWRT is a open source Linux based firmware that you can install on a good Linksys router and believe me you try one of these and it will make all those hidden features of your router visible and make your connection much more m better actually I've used it and there's a forum and you can read about it here on this website and you will not be uh, uh, in, you will not regret uh, transferring to DDWRT just be careful because if you messed up your installation you will make your router useless anyway let's back go back to DNS here's what I'm talking to you about if you go to setup and you go to DDNS you will put here the host name that you provided that you registered 
with din dns dot org anything din dns dot org right and just leave pretty much leave everything just put here this website of the din dns you can see there are also other free services like din dns but we'll try din dns for now and just put there your username and just put there your password and just pretty much leave everything and then after this is done you up you apply to it to the router and then you're all good to go finally you need to go to the NAT QoS and port forwarding of your DDWRT router this is a simple interface where you type the name of the application the port it's very important and the IP address of the computer that's been port forwarded so you enable this you add it you remove this port 80 is a an Apache server so I put there another one of these services and the protocol just put both if you want and then you apply it and the next time you're going to co connect to your router via anywhere in the world you just type the host name of your DDWRT router or the one you registered with the uh, DIN DNS and it will access all these ports as long as it's enabled and you're good to go uh, that's it uh, you've successfully completed all five parts of the video and I hope you learned a lot uh, I'm wishing you luck on your journey and I hope you can make it happen goodbye